Hello, hi, how are you today? In today's video, I wanna to talk to you about the new moon. It's the new moon of July, and this moon is a gateway. So I'm gonna say it like this. There's a little more than just a new moon. What are new moons good for? Hey, you might refer to my video where I uh, have one that says, how to use new moon energy. But in a nutshell, new moon energy is good for formulating. It's good for formulating plans. It's good for laying seeds. Um, now, the one that's happening now, it's coming right when we're having, you could say, harvest time in the Northern Hemisphere, where we're trying to collect the seeds that were planted months ago. While it is another seed planting time or formulating for laying out your plans, laying out your groundwork, there is a much larger scale to this moon energy because it is going to flow right into another energy called the Lion's Gate. So this new moon is a gateway, okay? What you do around this time and into August is going to directly correlate to how your next two seasons are going to go. And it might sound weird to you. And even if you're not into astrology or astronomy, I've been into astronomy for years. But astrology will tell you certain things. What they cannot tell you is how it affects twin flames and how large some of the energies are. Okay, there is a uh, large energy coming in. It is some of the, uh, let's say, final delivery. This is a final delivery of some masculine, primarily masculine energy. So I want to kind of break down for you some of the things that you could use this for. Okay, in a good way, this is emperor and empress energy. What does that basically mean? It means being the sovereign of your domain. Okay, it doesn't mean like lording it over people. It means being conscious. It means being aware. It means being um, vigilant. It also means setting up. It means bringing law and order to things. And that's some of this energy that's coming in. Now, this is also something that you need to be aware of because there's a lot of chaos and bringing some order to the chaos is truly what we're here for. So, how can we look at this and implement it? The people who will actually be doing their twin flame body work, these are some of the things you'll experience on the positive side and that you should experience and that you should utilize. When people do nothing with their twin flame body and all they do is watch videos or something, this is what happens. They're still a 3D mammal, meaning they're frequently in survival mode. They can be frozen and blinded to what to do. There are a lot of people that they'll watch something or they'll get an astrology report or the energy report and they do nothing. Why? Because a lot of times they are frozen. They're frozen in time. They're frozen with fear. This influx of energy for the moon and the lion's gate is intended to help kind of, you know, pry that open. Get those little frozen parts jacked open and flowing again. So someone might be at the beginning of that. Some people are not. Some people are literally saying, I want my real life. I want what's really mine. I can't do this anymore. Not because I don't have energy, but I'm ready for the next steps. I need the next level. I need that romance and excitement and fun and togetherness. Yes, because having a true partner is absolutely divine on earth. Not everyone has that, but it, for twin flames, it goes beyond that. It's partnership togetherness. It will be for physical togetherness, but it's everything else. It's all the bells and whistles that you're collecting in from all these times and places of your lives. So this should include desire of the heart, particularly for females. And I'm reminded of that old film, The Princess Bride, where... You know, he's always like, as you wish, you know, what is it you wish? What do you want? What are, what are your desires? Like, it can't just be, I want to be with my twin flame. Everyone says that. Like, let's get a little more, like, let's dig on that a little bit. Please, what is the desire of your heart? And it's not just, we have a mission. Your mission actually is putting yourselves together so that you can vibe the love that helps things really get implemented. That's the true mission. Integrate 
your brand new template that actually can funnel the love where it needs to go. This should include improvements for your personal life, not for everyone else. And this is hard for some people because they really think that they're doing it for everyone else and let go of that vow. You stop taking a vow of poverty. You stop taking that Kuan Yin vow where you're setting aside in favor of everyone else's enlightenment and forget about your own life. Your higher self, your soul, wants you to know what improvements for your personal life. Can you keep spinning in space? No. So are you able to integrate the inflow of your masculine essence from ancient timelines? Through the integration of your twin flame body, yes, you should be able to. People who have worked with me will find a lot of this flows a lot easier is helping them be that dimensional dancer and surfer that they're supposed to be. Are they shoved through the gate? So when we have on the flip side, when people do nothing, okay? And let's talk about this. I keep watching videos and readers, but then I get confused and I don't know what to do. I just, I'm, I'm like, you know, I really like astrology and I really like some other stuff. It's interesting to me. Oh yeah, I love looking at History Channel. History, oh, that's so boring. Well, I like cooking and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I don't, I don't always know either. Sometimes I wonder if I'm doing enough. I know, sometimes I'm thinking, is there something I'm missing? Sometimes I feel like maybe I'm not supposed to do this. Maybe I'm not a twin flame. I know, I think the same thing. But then I have an experience every time I doubt something happens that puts me back on track that I am a twin flame. I think I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to try and do it Patricia's way and try my twin flame body. I kind of am nervous because, you know, it's a lot of energy. Like, what is it going to do? Oh my God. Like, haven't you had any real high level experiences? It's delightful. It's divine. It's sacred. It's passionate. I don't know that I've ever done that. I just read these lists that say like, you're supposed to break up. They're going to be a narcissist to you. Oh, that is just so wrong. That is so wrong. So why don't you try the way that actually has your love connections and stop being frozen and blinded to what to do because you will feel it. You'll be shown. And it's not me telling you that's the difference between twin flame body work, twin flame ascension coaching is that what is individual for you to improve your personal life begins to flow in and the doors open and the right supporting actors and actresses in your life to support people. Okay. If you do nothing, it will be the same old, same old. And that's the definition of insanity. And frankly, that gets really old really fast. And you'll feel like you missed the boat. I don't like people to feel like they've missed the boat because another boat will come along, but then... You've delayed your own timeline, and that can happen. Even delays can be made up when you start really implementing what you're supposed to. Uh, are you fretting and worrying? That will drain you and fatigue you, especially if you're doom scrolling. If you keep looking at the news and seeing all the bad stuff in the world and this, that, those people get paid to be fear mongers, okay? Listen, a lot of things like, Cancer is a whole business that, you know, people are, they need money for it. I mean, that's death or life, okay? Um, a lot of other things. Mental health is, yeah, whether we like it or not, these things are coming at a cost. Can you afford the cost compared to what it actually will benefit you to be proactive and invest in yourself? So fretting and worrying about it and the world, no. What happens is you lift up to a level where those things, you'll be aware of it, and they don't touch you. That's the new level. It's a new vibrational level for living. Do you feel angry at energies? Now, I've seen people do this where they're like, okay, hang on, fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be turbulent. Um, there's forces and there's like, and that scares the crap out of people. Okay. People are still being scared because they're like, what do you mean there's a force? Like, no, 
you're the force of nature. Your love is beyond a force of nature. Let's get real about this. You have things in you that need to be open so that benefits you and ripples to others in a good way, in a good way, okay? Are you stuck again and waiting because, and then you get angry. I certainly had like, you know, all kinds of stuff where I scratch my head and I say, why, why are people like their fear? Why? Because they're hurt and wounded. It didn't happen. And they have to go into attack mode. Why? Because 3D mammal, 3D mammal, they're like little baby animals. They're going to be like, rah, 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 rah. We don't want to go there. Get yourself shoved through the gate. That's how it's going to feel. It's going to feel like a lot of people like, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. And they have to get through that. They have to get through the gate. Your own higher self is trying to shove you through the gate, which is why these energies feel so intense to people. What do you need to let go of? What do you need to move forward on? It's that simple. It's that simple. But it's not that easy for a lot of people. Stuck again waiting. Selfish behaviors. Bitter and tired. What are you doing to get yourself out of that mood? And I'm going to say something right now. If you're in a mood, he's in a mood. If he's in a mood, how is he going to go take care of that? Is he going to go off? Is he going to, you know, you're stabilizing each other emotionally, mentally, physically for health, well-being, and love. That's what love does. That is why love always tries, love always persists. Love doesn't fail because to your soul, your soul is saying, I've got all these ways and all these things for you to do this, but if you're frozen, get the help. Start to get the help. Hello? Get the help that you need. If you need help, seek the help. Hatred. I hate my life. Do you sometimes find yourself saying this right around these portals when people, it feels like these empty promises and then you're going, I hate my life. I can't live like this anymore. Get your new connections to real power Get your self-care behaviors lined up. So if you're interested in making the most of this new moon and the gateway energy, this is the gateway that is intended to carry you where you need to go. And it is an upward flow. That means that people who are getting pushed and shoved, oh, oh, you're going to go up and flow in that upward river. The upward river of the energies, that atmospheric river or whatever you want to call it, it's there to help you. You pick up your stuff, you go. You throw out the garbage, you go. Okay, how do you get lightened up and light up? I have the ways. This is what I do. This is what I teach. This is how I help you avert a crisis. Stop treating your ascension like a crisis. It's not. You planned for this. The seeds are in you. There's another harvest, you know? So let me know if you have questions. Reach out to me. Check out my website, twinflamereconnection.com. Look at the links below. Please like and subscribe and share my videos. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye.